office space, legal and accounting services, marketing and PR support, investor exposure, coaching and development. Oh, and did I happen to mention $50,000 in cash? That's right, a competition to launch Georgia's promising new technology companies. It's tag Venture Atlanta Business Launch 2014 in partnership with the Metro Atlanta Chamber. And it all happens May 5th. Eight finalists battling it out to be this year's Business Launch Champion. Greetings, everyone. It's Friday, April 11, 2014, and this is Tech Talk with Technology Association of Georgia President Tino Mantella. I'm your guest host, Frank Baia. Eight selected finalists are working right now with their mentors and will be right up to the big day when they will pitch head-to-head to take home the big cash prize and an extraordinary suite of services. Over the next few weeks, Tech Talk will focus special business launch attention on each of the eight finalists. This week, we meet Brian Sikonchina, Atlanta native, alumnus from Georgia Tech with a degree in biomedical engineering and the founder of Work Ready Grad, dynamic tool connecting students directly with employers to learn the real-world talent sought, enabling them to proactively acquire the skill and experience necessary to become a good-fit job candidate by the time they graduate from college and technical school. Will Work Ready Grad be the direct answer to addressing the skills gap in student graduation rates? Will Work Ready Grad be this year's business launch champion? Up to this edition of Tech Talk, we focus on the 2014 business launch finalists as we explore Work Ready Grad and meet with its founder, Brian C. Conchina. This edition of Tech Talk is brought to you by globalspeak.com new media consultants corporate video and audio communications video and audio production and distribution live and virtual event production tag tv and tag radio is a service of globalspeak.com creatively delivering powerful marketing video and audio solutions ryan welcome to tech talk hi frank uh, thank you for having us on the show well, uh, I, I think we've got an interesting subject. Sir, first of all, congratulations. I know that the competition was difficult, and the uh, act, actual group of players, uh, not only were they all highly qualified, but there was a pretty strong number of competitors. But uh, you're in the finals for the business launch competition. That's a lot of excitement and buzz going around the whole concept of what you're doing, work-ready grad. Let's start out by talking a little bit about, for our listening audience, what is a work-ready grad, and how did you guys get started? Uh, well, uh, w- yeah, we're very excited to be a finalist in the TAG business launch. Um, ha- this all actually got started um, when I was a student at Georgia Tech, and I-, I saw the frustration that my peers and I were-, were feeling around trying to figure out what we want to do in a career, and not only what we figure out, not only what we want to do, but how will we be successful in that. Uh, but fortunately, I had the good fortune of being able to participate in Tech's alumni mentoring program called uh, Mentor Jacket where every year they'd pair you with an alumnus mm-hmm. in your field of interest. And so I wanted to uh, figure out, you know, as I uh, came closer to graduation and being at a technology school, can there ex- exist a technology that directly addresses this frustration that the students feel? And later as I became an alumnus, I saw that not only are the students frustrated, but so are the companies uh, who are trying to employ these graduates, trying to find good fit talent. So we, we built Work Ready Grad as a technology that, to address both of those frustrations, and um, I, I actually uh, started as a class project at Georgia Tech. I was uh, at the time an alumnus, and um, Work Ready Grad was first built um, in 2012 by a group of students in a senior design class uh, in, under Professor Bob Waters. And we not only uh, built Work Ready Grad uh, as a part of that class, but we, we had our first pilot. Well, let's talk a little bit about the pilots now in, in terms of uh, maybe go into how you conducted them at Georgia Tech. And uh, I think one of the other places was the Central Educational Center in Noon, uh, Georgia. Um, what are the partnerships that you built? Sure. Well, uh, we, had a, we, had a, we had a real fun time uh, executing on those pilots. The first one was at Georgia Tech in the biomedical engineering department back in 2012. And we had not only about 200 students and alumni participate, but we had many of Atlanta's largest employers participate as well, including uh, Home Depot, Coca-Cola, Novellus, Lockheed Martin. Wow. And um, yeah, we have gotten really good feedback 
and and then you know since then we're just we we we've had one more pilot. This was more recently in the fall of last year, and yes, that was at the the Central Educational Center in Noonan, Georgia, under uh, Mark Whitlock, and uh, we just we. We, we, you know, this is a college and career preparatory tool. So for the college pilot at Georgia Tech, it was, was much more focused on how will you prepare yourself for your career. And for the, the high school pilot at the Central Educational Center, that was how to prepare for both college and career. Hmm. Okay, so we're kind of all familiar with job boards. And, of course, LinkedIn, I think many of us have seen or participated in uh, looking for opportunities. Um, for our listening audience, how does work ready grad work and what in comparison to say things we know and already understand about job boards? Sure. Well, uh, what our platform does is it makes it easier for companies to communicate what are those most important skills we're looking for and makes it easier for alumni to talk about what they're now doing in their careers and which resources in their schools or you know locally help them to become successful, help oh, them to, okay. to reach you know, where they are now. And then based on this information, students can more intelligently, uh, pro- you know, proactively design their time in school to one day become a work-ready grad, and the students end up creating uh, digital resumes. I mean, you, you can think of you know, a LinkedIn for professionals. Uh, linked, uh, the students are creating digital resumes with pictures and video, highlighting their achievements and the skills they possess. And these digital resumes help them land jobs and internships. Okay, so uh, I- am I understanding that you're, I- this it is sort of a, uh, an abstract form of mentoring with the alumni, so that at, uh, very so much that, so. So that as the process continues, as you begin your your job search, you're actually almost in a fraternity sorority type of relationship that allows uh, subject matter experts, people that are already doing the kind of thing that you're interested in doing to somewhat kind of give you the sense of direction and, and mentor you along the way and possibly even alert you to opportunities you wouldn't be aware of. That's exactly it. So, you know, whereas, you know, LinkedIn is a great resource and it's a huge resource. I don't know connect. half the people on LinkedIn other than getting invited to meet them in the first place. So the likelihood of them being as committed or as loyal as someone who uh, went to the school I went to, I can see your, the power of that. It's got to be great. Yeah, and, and, and you know, and, and LinkedIn, what they're doing, and a lot of, the, of our competitors, they're connecting existing talent with existing job openings, but how Work Ready Grad is different is that we're building talent. We're helping students to identify, you know, where they want to be in a career in the future and help them connect the dots between where they are now and their skills and their abilities to where they need to be to be ready to be competitive for that career. So it's a, you could say a proof of concept. I mean, if you can already see it in the future by looking at someone that's been doing it for several years, to get an understanding of what their career paths and successes look like. I think it's pretty, that's pretty radical. I, I get it completely, and I can see why people are so excited. Well, the countdown's on. You know that. Um, you're looking towards May the 5th. That's the business, Tag Business Launch competition. It's going to finally figure out who the world champion, quote-unquote, is going to be. Um, what are you guys trying to accomplish between now and May 5th? And uh, put you on the spot and just put it this way, why should you deserve to win? Well, I appreciate that that question, Frank. Um, really, if we're going to win May 5th, it's going to be because we were able to collect as many success stories as possible of students getting value from using this platform, that this truly helped inform them of what resources are available, what career opportunities are out there, and what they need to do now to uh, you know rise to their potential. And we'll be collecting not only success stories from students, but success stories from employers who will have used this tool to build talent pipelines and recruit top talent. So what we need between now and May 5th is as many companies as possible to go to workwithgrad.com, create, register as an employer, create their profile, communicating the skills they're looking for, and, and, and join this pilot so we can you know, collect as many of these success stories as possible. And, and, you know, and to answer the last part of your question, why do I believe we deserve to win? I believe we deserve to win because Work Ready Grad is incredibly passionate about trying to close the skills gap in Georgia, try to create, try to increase, and trying to create, uh, increase the graduation rate um, at the secondary and post-secondary levels. But beyond our passion is a lot of hard work and a lot of milestones of bringing um, our educators and our employers together. Together, I mean, we originally were applying for race to the top 
as an innovative new educational workforce development tool coming out of Georgia. This was back in February of last year. And as a part of that, um, you know, the, 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 the governor's office wanted to know, are you truly, you know, if you, if you were to be awarded uh, funds from Race to the Top, you know, how do we know that you're still going to be around um, after the, the grant period ends? And so we had to be able to show that we are, in fact, building significant relationships between academia and industry, and we are a sustainable business model to address a huge need for our society. So in that time, we were able to collect, uh, you know, letters of support, you know, from the Metro Atlanta Chamber, from the Lieutenant Governor's Office, from the Atlanta CEO Council, from Tag Ed, a lot of these, you know, huge uh, stakeholders who want to see more success um, in the future of our students and in the future of their member employers. And um, I think our commitment and traction and the fact that we are trying to solve a very worthy goal and we have a very solid business model around being sustainable and solving that goal is why we should win. We want to put Georgia on the map for having the countries, for launching the country's first career development social network in between Facebook and LinkedIn. And so we need everyone's support to do that, and I believe we've, we've come a long way. But um, we've got well, to you got to you got to you have to see it to believe it. The URL again, Brian. Work uh, ready. Pop, what's your question? Where, what is the URL they go to, to in order to sign up? It is uh, www.workreadygrad.com. Workreadygrad.com. Obviously, um, this is a judged competition, but this, I think Brian, the point that you're bringing up is nothing speaks better than people who actually uh, recommend or actually use a, a new idea and a new product. So we're going to call out there all of our listeners to join in in an exciting opportunity to be part of the competition. And I think, Brian, your passion comes across pretty clearly. WorkReadyGrad.com sounds to me like it's got a good shot of being a winner. Best of luck. And thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to join us today on Tech Talk. Well, thank you, thank you very much, Frank, for having WorkReadyGrad on your show.